what's happening with our power. Wow. Okay. So, generally, um, there has been some challenges, mm -hmm. technically mostly, that have led to the sort of uh, problems that we have seen. Mm -hmm. um, the pigging exercise was a routine man maintenance exercise mm -hmm. that was being done by the West Africa Gas Pipeline. Now, we couldn't have stopped this because uh, it's a four-nation compact that brought about the West African Gas Pipeline. Mm -hmm. And so we could not unilaterally delay it any further. We had to allow it to, to, to go on. Now, knowing that that was going to create some shortages in the Eastern Enclave, I mean, the Tema area with mm. power production, we made enough room for the procurement of uh, alternate fuels. But mm. we had to do some conversions of the plants from gas consumption to, um, what do you call it, to, to alternate fuels. Some okay. of them were light crude oil, some of them were heavy fuel oil, among others. Now, this conversion was done. We have enough stocks of fuel, but the plants also had a mind of their own. And I cannot sit here and tell you exactly how come these things were happening. But I'm aware that we've had a shaft problem with one of them. We've had a governor problem with one of them. There's some vibration issues with one of them as well. And these led to some of these technical difficulties that we had. We had an option to either run them despite their faults, if we could, and that would have probably led to greater damages for us as a country. Or we had to, you know, use what we had that was equitable to, to work with. Now, having done that, that also created a second problem. Mm -hmm. Now, is, when it comes to thermal production in this country, we have the Abwazi enclave, and then we have the Eastern enclave, which is thermal. Now, when you lose quite an amount of generation in the Eastern enclave, it creates some grid instability. Mm. And that is what has led to the low current and the you know volt voltage fluctuations mm. that we have seen across the country. But we are on top of this issue, and we are sure that by early next week, very early next week, um, all of these problems should be solved. Um, we issued a statement that a pigging was supposed to end latest by the 21st of March. But right. I can say that um, it will end earlier than that. I do not want to engage in this thing where... Uh, you, you go with the best case scenario. I always like to rely on the worst case scenario okay. so individuals are, are adequately prepared. Is Jumso back? No, it's not. So why are lights, never, are lights going off when we were told that like we have I said, we've excess had, capacity? Now, that, that's, that's also an issue that I need to explain. Now, excess capacity means that we have enough plants that gives us more than enough cap capability. Now, if you have all those plants in the system, mm -hmm. what you need to do mm -hmm. is ensure that they are all available for dispatch. Mm. Now, in this particular scenario, what we have is that some of the plants have gone down, downtime. It doesn't mean that they are not available. It just means that we need to you know, do some repair works. Sometimes some of these works will take a day. Sometimes it will take two months. Sometimes it will take three days. But it doesn't mean that that capacity is not available. At what time of the day does it happen? Because usually when you get home, peak periods, that's when your light goes off. You, if, if, if there are challenges, you will feel it the most during peak periods. Because okay. if there are challenges in, in the system, it is a peak period that everybody is consuming electricity. That's when you realize where the faults are. And sometimes, really, um, if, unfortunately for us, when faults are going to occur, mostly they occur during the peak period because that's when the demand is high. So when the machine is put through the stress, mm -hmm. then if there are any issues therein, that's when you would find, you find out that this, this is the problem. So mm -hmm. if at 5 o'clock, a generator tells you that I cannot come on stream. There's very little that that you can do. But I'm assuring the people of Ghana that by latest by next week, as we have said, we we, we will have all of these issues sorted out. The pigging, I believe that um, we received what may be the final pig somewhere early, la uh, late last week, and the analysis are being conducted. We did not see the uh, you know the amount of effluence that we're talking about, and so we are hopeful that it could end earlier than anticipated. What, what do you say to those who say there's no pigging but you owe money so go and pay the money get the gas and give us our lights and stop explaining your way out. Um, the legacy debts that we came to meet in this country I mean uh, a program was organized in November 2018 and mm -hmm. that's at November 2018 the West Africa Gas Pipeline Company itself admitted that indeed we had paid about 70% of the legacy debt. Now we have a system where it is take and pay. Mm -hmm. So you take and we pay. We are no longer doing you know, accumulation of debt among others. So that is not the issue at all. Mm -hmm. I think that those who are saying that, you know, it may either be out of mischief or they are just trying to... Is there to, truth to, to it? No, it's not an issue of we debt don't at owe. all. If you say you don't owe, we don't owe, I, I don't... Is I the don't, lights going off because we owe? No. Okay. 
that's that's not the case at all. I mean, on the 17th of January 2020, way before all of these things happened, we issued a statement. In, and b before that, there had been meetings starting from somewhere June of last year, trying to find out and bring all the four countries in sync with this pagan exercise. So it could not be the case that this is a debt issue. The Nigerians may have issued a statement, or even WAPCO. And they are, they're right here in Ghana. WAPPA is also here in Ghana. You can do your checks and find out if indeed we owe any money and that is what is resulting to all of that. That is not true. Okay. We are having technical challenges. Mm -hmm. We are sorry for the inconveniences that the people of Ghana are facing right now. It is our wish that it, it shouldn't have come. But these are tech machines that we are working with. Sometimes we do face some of these technical challenges. I, I, I heard a school of opinion mm -hmm. say that maybe it is as a result of the conversion of the plants from the gas to the alternate fuel. Is that, that what it is? Well, I cannot say definitively that okay. that is what it is. Your engineers have not told you. Like I'm saying, I cannot say definitively that that is what it is. A lot of reasons are being adduced as to why these things have happened. But all I can say is that they've led to technical challenges. And these technical challenges are being dealt with. Latest by next week, mm -hmm. all of these things will be dealt with. So if we, know, if we know when the problem will end, in the meantime, while we know that a lot of demand is on our energy you know, production during peak hours, why don't we put out a timetable so that it at least puts people... In, in check, it lets people know when they can have power and when they cannot have power. The time Rather than leave them, they get home, they are expecting to iron their shirt. The timetable assumes that you know, for example, that okay, fuel is not available and so you cannot dispatch these plants. And then that's where the issue is. What we are facing right now is not that sort of matter. But in any case, you may also want to avert your mind to the fact that um, in its entirety, as it stands now, ECG has also put on hold some planned maintenance. Right. To ensure that and so last night if you do a general check you realize that situation was way better than was previously experienced mm -hmm. the kumasi scenario i'd want to also i want you to also carry out your checks in kumasi mm -hmm. it's not it's not what it what it used to be anymore very good improvements have been made and we okay. are sure and that's is with that confidence that we are telling you that based on what we we are seeing and, mm -hmm. and what we have latest and again i, I want to we emphasize the fact that i'm mm -hmm. going with the worst case scenario okay latest by next week all of these things will be done. Okay. What I'm saying is that this is not all of the things that are being alluded to. And I would have been very happy if anybody had adduced any evidence to the fact that, uh, to contradict what I am saying. I hope you get the point. There, there's, there's nothing along the lines of what they are talking about. We are having technical challenges. And these are facts. Very vile. Very, you know, very easily vi verified. You can easily verify the things I'm talking about, mm -hmm. whether, there are enough, whether enough fuel stocks were, were procured to ensure that if all the plants were running, we were going to be able to give everybody power. That statement, and I'll refer you again to it, 17th of January 2020, we said that, yes, the Ministry of Finance and other stakeholders had collaborated to ensure that enough fuel had been procured and we have alternative um, ways of dispatching the power. Mm. But if the generators that are generating these, these, this power for us have gone down, then we are going to have issues. How long did we know that these cars are these, these generators have gone down? So when they were running on gas, mm -hmm. there was no issue. There was none whatsoever. Right. We had to convert them from gas to use alternate fuels. Because and I'm we saying, couldn't pay for gas? Or what? No. We are doing pigging. So right. the gas is no longer coming from Nigeria. Right. That's, that's one. Right. Also, as a result of the pigging, we cannot flow gas from Takredi to Tema. Okay. because we are doing the pigging. Mm -hmm. So all of these stop. We have to, therefore, the Eastern Enclave either has to use alternate fuels mm -hmm. or we have to shut the entire Eastern Enclave down. Okay. We procured enough fuel for the Eastern Enclave mm -hmm. and we had to converge them from gas consumption to alternate fuel consumption. And I'm using the word alternate fuel consumption because they don't all use one fuel. Mm -hmm. The individual plants have different uh, fuels that they use. Now, in the process of the conversion, when we're done with the conversion, we started firing them up. We realized that they were generating technical force by themselves which is why i have alluded to the fact that there's a school of thought mm. that says that maybe some of the machines have gotten too acclimatized to the consumption of gas what is the fact you speak for the energy ministry I, what is the I, actual see, situation that's, that's why i said that you don't just get up and say what you want you have to go through no, but up until now there, there must have been investigations and, the focus, and you might have the found focus, out exactly the focus, what the real the problem focus is. for for now mm. is to ensure that we restore power to the people of ghana and that all of these issues we can always go back and look at these things but the immediacy of the situation lies on the fact mm -hmm. that we need to restore power what, what form of compensation is available to the Ghanaian who was just bought 200 ghana cities credit i'll be is expecting to get his light 
and he goes home, the light is not coming. You are keeping his money. I'm not saying you personally, but you are keeping his money as a state. And he's not getting the commodity that, that he I find paid that, for. I find that a very interesting uh, Because I paid for service that I'm not getting. I agree with All you. All I'm getting is explanations. That, it, does, it doesn't mean that once the situation is fixed, you lose the power that you have bought. But you I consumers. need it when I bought it. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I'll be very willing to engage with you at a later time. But if you just allow me. So it is not. Well, I, th issue. I thought you had finished. Yeah. It, it is not. I had no, that, but I just, quite a bit of. I, 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 I just yes, want to, it's only fair that you allow me to say I, well. I, I just want to clarify that. It, so it is not an issue of financial difficulty because if it was financial, then the fuel wouldn't be available in the first place. Okay. That's one. So what's the problem? Uh, wisdom problem. Technical you're problem. refusing to hear me, and so <laughs> it makes it very difficult. Uh, as, as though you're having a conversation with someone who has taken the NTOB attitude. But may may I say that? Um, I'm, I'm being the ordinary Ghanaian who will be watching by now because they don't have life, so they are watching us on uh, Facebook and they are thinking, what is this man talking about? Johnny, to be clear yes. and to be factual, we are having technical challenges. Okay. These technical challenges could not have been predicted by anyone. That's the truth. Okay. Look, if you wake up in the morning and you go and sit in your car mm -hmm. and you fire it up and the engine says, I'm not going to be fired up, Sometimes you could not have predicted what was going to happen. Okay. That's the truth. Okay. Thank and you. As a I, result of that, we are only appealing to the good graces of the people of Ghana. Mm -hmm. That these are the difficulties we are facing. We are being honest with you. We have always been honest with you. And we are giving you the strongest of assurances okay. that by latest by next week, okay. all of these things will be dealt with. Thank you. It is not a financial Thank problem. Thank it you. is not a wisdom problem. Okay. It is it's not a, any of the other things problem. that are being alluded okay. to. I just, we, we need to move on. I agree with you, but it's, I, I, I'll just beg of you a minute. Mm -hmm. The problem with the excess capacity is not the fact that we have excess capacity. We don't? I'm coming. Okay. I'm not saying we don't have excess capacity. Okay, but no, what are I'm you saying? saying that the problem with it is the payments we have to make. Listen, today as we speak, Akosumbo is there. We are not paying anything for Akosumbo if Akosumbo decides to go, or if we decide not to use Akosumbo. Mm. In the case of what has been contracted in terms of excess power, mm. we are paying about $620 million. Is as the a, power available? May, That's may, what we want I, to know. So, may I, may I explain it to mm. you? Because it's a bit technical. And I always struggle when people decide to go down the path that Mr. Alex Sebefia has okay. gone. But the reality is that, listen, so now let me draw a very accurate picture for you. Okay. You have a car, mm. and you've decided to go and rent six other cars and keep in your house. When one this, car goes off, you can get another car. Okay, so when the car is running, mm. you are paying for six other rented cars. It doesn't make the other cars useless. Johnny, I don't know if as an individual you will make that decision. I'm saying... But may I... Uh, hold on. Johnny, no, can I just say, please, the analogy is not right, because he's told us already that they have now created an agreement which says that if you don't use the car, you don't pay the rent. I said that in That is what he's saying. Yeah. No, so on. the six cars are there, may but I, you're not paying rent. This is the I new finish? agreement you have. No. Okay, so uh, let's allow him. Let him. That's no, no, finish. Up. What I said is that in relation to the gas, mm. we've paid off the legacy debts. Right. And I've gotten to this place where we are now doing take and pay. Exactly. Right. So and until you started, use, you don't pay for exactly. it. The gas. Okay. That is, no, oh. not that until you use, you don't pay for it. Originally, and... Remember, this is in a relation to N gas, Nigerian gas. Mm. We had created a legacy debt situation with Nigerian gas, where it got to certain points under the NDC. The Nigerians were refusing to release gas to us because we weren't paying. Mm. We've paid off that gas. And now the arrangement we have with the Nigerians is that what we take, we pay. So there right. are periodic reconciliations. Right. We started negotiations with these take and pay agreements that was done mm -hmm. by the NDC in terms of power generation, the plans that they brought in. Right. We haven't concluded with them, but we are still on it. We so, are so it means you can't use them? Is that, is no, that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what are what you I'm saying? saying is they created a situation where you have a car. Mm -hmm. Then you've gone to rent other cars that you're keeping in your house. And you're paying for them. And you're paying for them. Okay. So the so, cars literally are at your beck and call. You can use them when you want to use them. You can that use, hold on. You can use them when you want to use them. But the issue is, does it make financial sense that the country Ghana... We'll, we'll talk about the financial sense I, I'm shortly. coming. I, but I I'm saying to, that... I so want to so I, have, I have one car. I want to no, establish... No, hold, hold on for me. I have one car. Or let's say I have Johnny, one, one cocoa, I, cocoa, cocoa, cocoa free. And it, it, it gets spoiled. But I have six more. So as soon as this gets spoiled, I still want to have cocoa for, for, for a morning. That is then I pick know. this other door pack of cocoa. I still have cocoa available. That is to ignore the realities on the ground. And that is where we are going to. Because essentially, your, your line of questioning is ignoring what the problem is. What is the problem? The problem is, 
you have one pack, mm. which is what you need. Right. And then you've gone to contract for a room full, okay. which you cannot consume even within a year. You have said that. You have May said I, that. So if you allow me, abundantly, if you allow me, so so if you allow me to, mm. to make my point then. So as a result of that, we have to pay six hundred and twenty million dollars okay. every year okay. as of twenty nineteen. Okay. Six hundred and twenty million dollars. Now remember that six hundred and twenty million dollars is not put onto your electricity bills. Okay. Because if we have to put that onto your electricity bills, mm -hmm. we we'll more than double. So so I, I'm struggling to Tell understand me. you. Look, so Nana, if you allow me, Nana, let, let's let's the, use the back let's, and forth. Let's use packs of food. Hold on, hold on. The back and forth. Let's use packs of food. We are repeating ourselves. Let's use. Packs I agree, of food. and I want we, us we to are, use. You see, let's use packs of food. I am hungry. I need just one pack of food. But I go and buy six extra packs. I finish eating this first pack. Then I realize that I'm hungry again. You're saying that because I'm paying extra for the six extra, I shouldn't pick a pack no, to consume. That, that analogy cannot hold. Why because cannot? Because the why relation be between the and two. And you brought the analogy of the car. It's May your, I, it's, it's your so, analogy. So I if I'll be allowed to make my I'll point, allow him, please. then we can learn. Right. That analogy cannot hold because, you see, when you say that you've bought the food, mm then you take away the fact that there's a recurrent expenditure. Right. I, I, I hope you understand mm. what I'm saying. That's, that's the first one. The second thing is that demand growth in, in the power sector mm -hmm. is not an issue of, okay, I finished consuming the food and, and I, I feel I'm hungry. Okay. Because at peak currently, mm -hmm. we are not even up to 3,000 megawatts. Okay. And we cannot grow that demand like, okay, one night is gone to 3,500. It doesn't happen like that. Okay. So it's a steady thing that you can But we have for. more than 4,000, almost 5,000 so in capacity. What, and what that is costing us as a country is $620 million. Agreed. But I'm saying that if you can't even, at peak, at peak hours, you don't use up to 3,000 or just around 3,000. You have up to 5,000 or about 5,000. That excess power... Can't Ghanaians benefit from it while you try and fix the problems and, with the 3,000? And, and that's where I'm coming to. Okay. That the sort of power that was procured mostly relies on gas. Okay. Now, when you have a difficulty like what we have now, you have two scenarios that you need to look at. The okay. first one is that which plants are the most efficient that mm. you can convert easily mm. to use alternate fuels? Because remember, even though we were going to take off about 750 megawatts okay. during the period of pigging. Mm. We made plans to bring in 780 megawatts of power. The reason being that if we went ahead to convert all the plants mm. to alternate fuels, the cost attached, and when we're done with this pigging exercise, we'll have to go back and convert everything else again okay. at outrageous cost. Thank you. That I, do I not think, make I sense. I think that your, your point is that we are spending more than we should be spending. Because, because you decided to make very financially imprudent decisions. And today, the argument you are seeking to make, sadly, it will not wash on any level because, listen, let's be factual with ourselves. Global standards mm. requires 20% excess. Okay. What you have done is close to 100% excess, which... And we still do not have light. So well, that's, that's that is the well, bottom line. Well, well, you have excess well, and you say well, you don't have light. Well, well you see... That to say that is to ignore the technicalities of but what you, you have done. done. No, what, what, yes. Not. Okay. Thank you. Thank yes. You to say much. that so, is to, see. Hold on. To say that is to assume that, for example, there's a notebook. I don't need anything to use a notebook. Nana, today is your birthday. You have I plenty agree. white. I agree with you, but and but, you say because you couldn't find a particular white dress means that you don't have a dress to wear out to go and sit on TV to overly see. overly simplistic. But, overly. That's, but that is the principle and, and you're using. No, overly simplistic because, like I'm saying, this is a notebook. I don't need anything to use this notebook. Okay. When you buy a car, do you need fuel to run it? So, where you are incurring costs, that will bring you recurrent costs. And you don't make plans for those recurrent mm -hmm. costs. Then you you make the argument that, oh, okay, we gave you more power, and okay. now you're unable Your to... Your point is it, well it made. I, I'm sure.